Hi, my name is Benjamin Nylon and today I'd like to explore with you the CSS classes that make up the SharePoint Global Navigation here at the top. Now if you remember in our last video we added the content editor web part in our page to be able to apply CSS code without affecting any other SharePoint sites or any other SharePoint pages in our current site. Now the last time we added this code which changed the background color of our global navigation to a dark gray. Now this explored the class called S4 Top Header 2. Now this is the larger container around the global navigation. This time we're going to add the second container around the navigation which is S4 dash Top Links. And in this class to test where it actually applies I'm going to change the background color to a yellow color to make sure that I can see it properly in front of the dark gray. I'll make sure to close my tag here and click on OK. There we go. And now we see the top links uh, container that holds the yellow background color. Now I'll go even further with this and this time I'll play with the dot S4 dash TN CSS class. I'll give it a red background color this time to see where it applies and close my CSS tag like so. Click on OK and let's test this. Now as you can see it looks like it replaced our yellow background color but actually it didn't. All it did is actually come on top of it. To make sure that this is actually what happened what I'll do is I'm actually going to move this red background color a little bit to the right. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to say that the position has to be relative to its previous one so that I can move it from the left 150 pixels. Now let's see what happened. As you can see the red container which holds the actual global navigation is moved 150 pixels to the right.